I'm Timothy Priscilla and today we're going to differentiate an exponential function. In this case, we have a trinomial times e to the x. This is a product, 7x squared minus 14x plus 14 times e to the x. So we're going to have to use the product rule. That means we need to know the product of each individual factor. So let's first differentiate 7x squared minus 14x plus 14. Okay, differentiating, we'll get a 14x and a minus 14. What about the derivative of e to the x? The derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. So now using the product rule, We're going to get y prime equals. It's the derivative of the first, 14x minus 14, times the second, e to the x, sine plus, I agree, the derivative of the second, e to the x, times Okay, the first one, which is 7x squared minus 14x plus 14. Ah, let's see. There. So, it's the derivative of the first times the original second plus the derivative of the second times the original first. And when we look here, we have a common factor in these terms. What's the obvious common factor in those terms? No, the e to the x. 14x is terms, uh, or terms, but they're not factors. The only common factor in both cases is e to the x. So we're going to take out an e to the x. And oh, this is going to reduce very nicely. We took out e to the x here. What have we got left in the first term? 14x minus 4, okay. We took out e to the x over here. What have we got left? Okay, this plus here, this plus that I'm writing, is that plus right there? 14x minus 14. Minus 14, thank you. It's a my, a... 14x minus 14. Thank you. We took out the e to the x. So we have left the 7x squared minus 14x plus 14. And this is reducing very nicely. I think I'm going to simplify inside the parentheses. What's the only thing we're going to have left inside those parentheses? Just the 7x squared. 14x minus 14x will go to 0. Negative 14 plus 14 will go to 0. So all we have is a 7x squared times e to the x for our final answer.